He first won America over with his Eat This, Not That book series. Now best-selling author David Zinzenko wants to help us get rid of belly fat. The Zero Belly Diet was a bestseller, and now there's a companion cookbook to go along with it. We're happy to welcome David to Talk of the Town today with some healthy new recipes. Great to see you, David. How are you? Uh, same here, Meryl. Great to, great to be with you. All right, so for those who may not be familiar with the zero belly fat diet, let's talk about that a little bit and uh, tell us what the premise is. The premise is really to get um, in each of your meals uh, protein, fiber, healthy fat, um, and not all this processed food and empty calories and excess sugar and salt and fat that you that you find in, in most uh, sit-down chain restaurants and fast food restaurants. It's about meals that you could prepare in minutes. Um, it's all really easy, it's nutritious, it's delicious. Um, so you can eat your favorite foods while losing a lot of weight. Yeah, how much weight can people uh, typically lose with this plan? Uh, well, we had people who were losing up to 20 pounds in just six weeks and, and four inches off their, off their bellies. So um, they had a, we have success stories throughout, throughout the, the book, and, and people were just saying that it was so easy that they never felt hungry. Um, this isn't a, a diet or a cookbook that's based on restriction. Um, as you'll see here, you get, to, you get to eat a lot of a lot of great food. Yeah, it looks like you've got some terrific meals there in front of you. Start with breakfast. Let's talk about the kinds of things you can eat. Sure, I love Eggs Benedict, so this is something you can whip up in about 10 minutes. Um, we've got a gluten-free English muffin, we've got spinach, olive oil, it's like a Popeye reunion, um, <laughs> and uh, we have a homemade mayo instead of that heavy hollandaise, and it's just 207 calories. Um, if you want a snack after that, a mid-morning snack, I love smoothies. Um, this is, I call it 90-second nutrition. This right here is pina colada uh, smoothie. It's got whey, uh, nut whey protein, but plant-based protein, so it's fewer calories, a little bit more fiber, and it doesn't uh, cause you to bloat. Um, this is just 205 calories. It's like going to Dairy Queen. Um, for lunch, these are um, uh, chicken fajitas that are grilled, but um, unlike a, a, a wrap where a where flour tortilla is like 350 calories, before you even fill it with anything, um, I'm using a, a lettuce wrap here. Um, so you've got red bell peppers, you've got onions, you've got salsa and, and guacamole because avocado has been shown to um, keep you fuller longer. Um, and then from there, if you um, head over, if you need a snack after that, I got some coconut dark chocolate popcorn. That's just 183 calories, Meryl. Wow. It's great. Um, and then for dinner, you get to eat a burger. Um, in this case, it's 90% lean. It's grass-fed, so it's packed with omega-3 fatty acids, almost as much as you'd find in fish. Um, and uh, it's a gluten-free bun, and that's just 343 calories. And you could top off your day with a flourless chocolate cake, uh, which is just 220 calories. So you, you know, you're not you're not depriving yourself of of anything. Chocolate, wine, burgers. It's uh, it's all part of the plan. That all looks really appealing. Quickly before we go, this plan um, you say can help you turn off your fat genes. What does that mean? And, and that's G E N E S. It means that there are uh, seventy percent of the calories in the American diet are processed foods, and those you know all those crazy ingredients that you can't pronounce um, can can alter your 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 fat genes. And by eating real food and healthy fats, not unhealthy fats, and um, not you know overloading on on sugar and salt, you know you could you could basically you know, turn those fat genes off so that it's easier to lose weight. Um, in fact, studies show that if you take in the same number of calories um, processed versus real food, uh, you're still going to gain more weight with the processed foods. It all looks delicious, David. Thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you, Meryl. You can find all of these recipes in the Zero Belly Cookbook.